I'm very grateful for the opportunity to share my thoughts with you on what I consider to be a fairly historic day. And in thinking about the significance of this day, I was reminded of a passage from a Shakespearean play, which was often used by others in a variety of different forms. But Shakespeare wrote, the truth will out. The world owes a debt of gratitude to the Belgian people, the Belgian State Security Service, and the Belgian judicial system. They did not turn away from seeking the truth. They accepted the responsibility to find the truth, to gather information behind a planned bombing of a public event in the outskirts of Paris in July of 2019, and to identify those responsible for even planning such a reprehensible act. The Iranian diplomat Asadola Asadi worked with three accomplices in an effort to achieve the objective set by the leaders of Iran, particularly the Ministry of Intelligence Security Affairs. The objective simply being the bombing of an event hosted by the National Council of Resistance in Iran and attended by literally thousands of individuals, including diplomats from multiple countries from around the world. The world should ask why, and then the truth will out. The NCRI is an immediate threat to the repressive Iranian regime. It is the largest, best organized, and most popular democratic alternative to the regime. And over the years, its leaders and its advocacy, and their advocacy for a peaceful, tolerant, democratic, non-nuclear Iran has attracted greater and greater internal support within the people of Iran and greater international support. And that was evidenced by the incredible number of political representatives from countries around the world attending that event, all of whom were potential targets of the Iranian conceived and supported terrorist plot. The regime's fear of a democratic alternative, attracting even greater and greater domestic and international support, was and still remains so intense, it directed one of its diplomats to oversee this plot, collaborate with the accomplices, act as a courier for the explosives, and coordinate the activity with the Iranian government. The truth will out. The planned bombing was a state-sponsored event. It is time for all freedom-loving nations to take notice, not only of this event, but the words of President Bush in his State of the Union address as far back as 2002, when he condemned the Iranian regime for its aggressive pursuit of weapons of mass destruction. He described the leadership of the regime as, and I quote, an unelected few seeking to repress the Iranian people's hopes for freedom. And the NCRA certainly reflects those hopes and has grown stronger and stronger every year. And for the past 20 years, the regime's effort to suppress the truth and eliminate any efforts to bring democracy and freedom to Iran has been brutally but unsuccessfully sustained. The regime has killed dissidents. It has not killed their quest for freedom. In light of the findings of the Belgian court, the world, particularly our allies, must also remind themselves that Iran has continued to subsidize terror in the Middle East, support regional proxies in Syria and Iraq, imprison or murder democratic dissidents, advance its ballistic missile technology, and accelerate its plutonium enrichment. The planned bombing was a state-sponsored operation by a terrorist state that continues to operate with arrogance, with impunity, with disdain for human rights and common decency, and the basic norms of a civil society. European Union, the United States, nations around the world 
must applaud the courage and the diligence of the Belgian government, its judicial system and their citizens, and loudly, resoundingly condemn the action of the Iranian government. But rhetorical condemnation without further action will have a little impact on this rogue regime who heretofore has totally been unwilling to change its behavior. Countries whose citizens were in harm's way in that July event should consider downgrading, seriously considering downgrading diplomatic relationships with Iran. The operation of the Ministry of Intelligence and Security Affairs, that whole shop should be labeled a foreign terrorist organization. It's the best way to hold them accountable worldwide. And we need to hold the foreign minister accountable in some fashion. I'll let the diplomats figure that one out for his use of uh, the diplomatic pouch, of the diplomatic core, the embassies and the missions as hubs for their terrorist activity. And there's one final action that countries who have repudiated and condemned the Iranian government for not only this terrorist act, but its terror and repression over previous decades that I think would be the most powerful and the most meaningful of all. These countries and their leaders should align themselves with the hopes of the Iranian people for freedom. I would call on them to recognize publicly the National Council for Resistance in Iran as the alternative to the existing regime. That is the ultimate, that's the ultimate condemnation of their action. In that fashion, the truth will out. Again, I thank you for the opportunity to share with you my thoughts on this very important day.